Late Night with the Devil is a found footage horror film until it isn't. I've done a video on this one already, but uh, was before I had seen the movie. This movie made the rounds before it came out because it was using AI art. You'll check my channel. I did a video on that. And I only looked at one of the AI art bits that it used. It's uh, the, the premise is that we're like watching this one a notorious episode of a late night talk show from the 70s that involved bringing on a demon possessed girl. And during some of the interstitials, you know, like the we're, we'll be back after these messages, they used three pieces of AI artwork. And the one that everyone saw that was making the news rounds was like a skeleton dancing in a pumpkin patch. But there's two others. And there was one that was like an owl sitting on a television set. And I feel like the third one also had an owl. I don't remember that one as much. But as soon as they come up, you can tell pretty much immediately that it's AI artwork, which poses a real problem for this film because this film is trying to present itself as like found footage. So there should be an element of, you know, verisimilitude. Is that the word I'm looking for? Where it should feel like, okay, this is in fact something that I could see in the 70s and you're not going to see AI artwork in the 70s. And so I feel like doing that harms the product when it was stuff that could have easily been drawn. You could have paid an artist not even that much money to do it, honestly. Uh, I saw people on Twitter who were literally just taking the image and going, okay, I redrew it. And so that's not AI anymore. Here you go. Pay me and you can use this one. So I've already done a video on that one, but that's the primer. This movie has a problem in that it wants to present itself as found footage, but then it also, it wants to have its cake and eat its too. It wants to be like more of a, a dramatic thing where it gets into like the mind of the lead character at certain points which you can't do with found footage. Like if we're seeing things that only he's seeing, if we're not actually seeing what the camera saw, if we're only seeing what his perception is, then you lose that conceit. Then it becomes like, okay, well, obviously this wasn't footage that was broadcast on the night. There's even a moment because like, you know, it's a late night talk show and he's got like several different people who claim to have supernatural abilities. And they also have brought in like a, uh, a skeptic who's very much like a James Randi kind of a guy. And the skeptic, who uh, he uh, actually performs a hypnotism in the movie. And the hypnotism convinces a guy that he's like exploding with worms. And we see the guy exploding with worms. We see everyone react to him exploding with worms because he's not just hypnotizing that guy, he's hypnotizing the entire audience. But then afterward, after it's done, it turns out, oh, the guy wasn't exploding with worms. And they actually go and review the footage to see that he's not exploding with worms. And he was just reacting as though he thought he was. But we saw the footage of him exploding with worms. So where did that footage come from if it's found footage? They, they literally review their own footage to go, oh, no, that footage didn't show that. And that alone really harms how this feels like, you know, a proper found footage horror movie. Like... There, there are certain things that if you want to present it that way, there are limitations and they wanted to have the aesthetic of the found footage without the limitations. They had uh, things where it's like you have behind the scenes uh, footage, you know, when they go to commercial and there's like some black and white cameras that are following people backstage. But like you will see like uh, uh, it cuts to another angle and you would expect to see a camera person there because it's like, well, I just saw it from that perspective and now I'm looking over there and there's nobody with a camera there. So like, are these things, are these behind the scenes footages from the, uh, you know, from the commercial breaks, are they actually not found footage and they just, yeah, it, it, it doesn't make sense. David Desmalchian plays the host. He's a really good 70s vibe, late night talk show host. Um, I think this is one of his first like, headlining roles. I, I've seen him in stuff forever. Like, dude's been in everything. He was in The Dark Knight and uh, The Suicide Squad and uh, the Ant-Man movies. Uh, he's, you know, he's been in a lot of stuff and it's nice to see him get his own, you know, uh, starring vehicle. And I think there's like a lot of good stuff that happens with this movie. There's a lot of decent scares, uh, decent horror, but especially the ending, they basically just completely drop the conceit of found footage to begin with. And I feel like that harms it. If you're going to do found footage, do found footage. If you're not going to do found footage, 
don't present it like you're doing found footage. Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell and drop a comment below telling me what you thought of the video. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below. And thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my whale shark tier patrons, Ryan D and James Knight, and my anemone friend tier patron Piftle Cakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.